I did like a quick, I had to squeeze it in, you guys. I might be going to Mexico, so I just gotta get snatched, even if it's in just three days. It's perfect? Yeah, perfect, yes, 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 yes. What those girls do, and they're like, Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to another weekly vlog, another dose of Dana. And if you are new, welcome to my channel. I made my breakfast this morning and then I made my iced coffee. Should have went to the gym, but I slept in a little bit. And you know what, that's okay. Because I'm always up early. I was just on a phone call with my aunt, my aunt Keisha, that you guys love. She's so funny. I had to just let some of those clips play. I'm just about to get some work done, edit a video that I'm uploading today. And then I'm gonna catch up with you guys later. Oh my God. Hey you guys, I just finished getting ready for Instagram. <laughs> not going anywhere but um i have to take um a picture for white fox boutique for the clothing haul that i filmed for them i still got to do my instagram picture um it's gonna be for the giveaway if you follow me like on instagram and you've seen my post with them it's the same thing every time but yeah i just gotta take a picture in one of their items 
and post it with my giveaway caption and everything. If you're watching this and the giveaway is still going on, make sure you head over to my Instagram to enter because they got some fire pieces. You guys know I wear white fox, white fox a lot. Um, I got so many pieces from them for this haul. I just don't know what I'm going to wear. I don't know how I'm going to... Like, y'all, I have so... I can't wait to move. But, um... I just have so much clothes. And I don't get to see them all because they're all over the place. They're all over the place because they don't... They, I just don't have room. I don't have room. It's just constant struggle with my closet. I'm having a Starburst because... I'm craving something sweet. I have elastics in my mouth right now. I've been trying to wear them more often because I haven't worn them in a while because they used to tell me, like after a while they told me I didn't need it anymore. But I actually, you guys, I don't like my teeth. Um, I hate like how the top row of my mouth, I don't know, like my overbite and like the shape of my teeth is just, I'm realizing from talking to them and telling them my concerns that it's the, just the shape of my teeth. And then also I have a chip. That I've had for a while so um they told me to start wearing my elastics again to see I don't know I just I just feel like my teeth come very forward and I don't like that I don't like that um I should take the off the elastic because my mouth is very sore Listen. hold on uh hold on mm. Oh god. Yeah, I need to start sleeping in these because. Alright, so after struggling to figure out what I'm gonna wear for this picture, it shouldn't even be this hard, but my dilemma is this is a giveaway picture, right? And I got some fire pieces from White Fox that I want to style and actually post. Well, yeah. But I feel like for my giveaway post, I don't want to wear something that I actually want to wear out out and I want to wear everything like actually out and style them like really nicely and like vlog you guys know me okay like you know like as an influencer when you're wearing a fire outfit you want to post on your story I'm just extra but yeah like I want to post it on my story I want to post it on Instagram when I actually wear that and it's fire and my hair is like you know what I mean so I ended up just wearing has to be something from White Fox. So I ended up just wearing, y'all remember this top I wore a couple vlogs ago, maybe like two, three vlogs ago. Um, ignore Chai, she's just drinking her water. But I didn't get a picture in it and the, the outfit was fire. So I'm just gonna wear this because I already wore it out. I'm literally just wearing this White Fox boutique top, jeans, um, or are they jeans or pants? Leather jeans are misguided. And then, if you saw my other vlog, I actually wore them with my black. What? Why does this? Why does this guy keep sending me stuff? I'm so confused. You're literally talking to yourself. Anyways, um, no, I need to share this because this is so annoying. So there's this guy I know. Um, I've known since I was younger. Mutual friends, whatever. Now, anything I post, he'll reply to, like, oh, like, that's why you should date me. Or, like, just try to, like, pitch himself, you know? And I said, nah, like, I'm not interested. You know, whatever, whatever. Um, and when he finds funny videos or funny memes on Instagram, he just sends them to my DMs and then acts like, I, I'm confused. This is an example. Shared a video. We'd throw hands, to be honest, because I'm not giving up my food for you. What? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, anyways. This lighting is not working. Oh, God. Hold on. Hello? Hello? I don't know. I'm tired of these fucking numbers calling me. Everything is just big. I'm not complaining about the waist area. I do wish having, I do miss having a little fatty. <laughs> We're gonna get it back. My misguided leather jeans. And then um, last time I wore this, when I wore this to Harbor 60, I did wear my black Bottegas 
with my Balenciaga bag, but when I was putting, it was in my closet. Ooh, it's not the same. Shit, I might have to. When I tried it on, can I, is this a thing, y'all? I have these heels from Zara. I bought them like years ago, like years ago. And I'm wondering, I feel like in pictures they might look the same. It's teal, but it's more of a forest green teal. I don't even know. I don't know. When I tried it on, it looks so cute, but now it's not the same green. But you don't have to be matchy-matchy, right? I feel like I'm just tired of wearing the same shoes with everything. I honestly am so tired. And I'm trying to, like, switch it up. Maybe even color block. What kind of color block with teal? Or should I just do my... I feel like my Balenciagas are just so... I wear them that much, you guys. That's why I haven't sent them in. <laughs> Alright, I want to show you guys. No? Yes? Well, I mean... <coughs> I kind of got to make this decision myself, but this is what it looks like. I think this should be fine. I'm actually going to bring both shoes just in case, because sometimes when you take a picture, it doesn't, it doesn't, you can really see if the outfit doesn't look right or not. So I'm going to bring both. And if I'm not feeling the outfit with these shoes, I'm just going to change into my Bottegas. So let's go. Okay, you guys, so I'm in the lounge. I like the, the lighting over here. It's very ambient, and I feel like my outfit is very, like, nighttime dinner. Oh, my God, that's the storage room for the front. I hope they can hear me. But yeah, anyway, so I'm just setting up right here to take my picture. I hope this goes well. I'll prop you guys up right here. Let's see what... This YouTubers go through on a daily struggle. Let's see if we can get this done in 10 minutes. Question, tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave. Question, tell me how you feel about this. Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed. Pay my own car note and I pay my own. Always 50 50 in relationships. The shoes on my feet. messaged my girl asking if I should change my shoes and she said to change the shoes I'm kind of mad because they came out fire mm. 
Let's hope I can get the poses good again. Praying. <laughs> I took the, the those are literally the first five shots I took even with me actually to your yoga, which is rare, by the way. So I think we're we're gonna be fine. Question, tell me what you think about me I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely When it's all over, please get up and leave Question, tell me how you feel about this Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed Pay my own car note and I pay my own bills Always 50-50 in relationships the shoes on my feet what I need to do when I get back but uh, we're back from taking photos sent in my photos for approval and my caption everything's all good that was very smooth and successful um, and actually like motivated me to want to take more pictures because I haven't taken pictures in a lot in a while like by myself anyways I'm heading to my girl Zuri's silhouette I can never say it silhouette Zuri's silhouette bar um, you guys know I used to go there for my, uh, I forget what it's called, but the, girl, the stomach tightening procedures or the butt pumping. I may or may not do wood, wood therapy today. I'm not really, I know it hurts and she said, you know, whenever you're ready, but she's warned me that it really, really hurts. Let me close this because I got clothes in the wash. I just threw some clothes in there. Um, I'm just wearing, to you guys, all my sweatsuits are from White Fox I'm wearing. This brown crew neck and matching sweats from White Fox Boutique. Trench is from Boohoo. This is the petite one, by the way. Um, I'm wearing Uggs because I don't know, I'm just feeling very cozy. And your cousin found that she got all you double time for it us, damn. But ever since you came around, it's obvious. Hey, girl. Hey, welcome back. Thank you. What are you doing today? So we're about to do some skin tightening on your stomach to get mm -hmm. that stomach tightened, right? Yeah. We're going to start with the skin tightening RF to melt the fat cells. You ready? Yes. Let's do this. Honestly, everything's cheaper out there. Yeah, it is. It's actually insane. Especially like rent. Yes. I was thinking about it. It's nice. It's just once you're just done with Atlanta, you're done. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. They're like, yeah, you think you want to live there, but like, you're going to be there for a year and you're going to be over it. And I'm you like, know what I didn't mean? like though? Like, when I was there and I was watching the news, mm -hmm. every day there's a shooting. Like, it's worse than here. It's really bad. The theft, the kidnapping, the trafficking, that's the only scary thing. Like, that shit is like... But in, when you're in Buckingham, you don't have to worry about it. beautiful lady you guys um, introduce yourself and tell them about your amazing product you were just telling me about yes everyone I am Bridget and I'm the CEO of no lace Canada I have the only wig grid lace knot concealer available here in Canada that eliminates all of your chemicals no more bleaching no more tinting we have five different shades that will only give you complete coverage if you want to go swimming sweat even go into the hot sun without even worrying about people seeing your lace. You don't want exposure. You don't want red. You definitely don't want whole. What you want is a clear, natural finish. When you look at my lace, I'm confident because it's only scalp. In five different shades, from our Caucasian to our darkest brown. Any wig, any lace, 
we got you covered. If you have a wig lace frontal and you don't have this product, then you're definitely not being covered. Yes. No Lace Canada. So no Lace Canada. There's diff five different shades. Which one are you wearing? I am wearing Marvelous Mish. We have Talented Tan, No Nonsense News, Dynamic Dan, and of course our this. sensational <laughs> Shade. Our brand is all about empowering women. It's about letting women feel as good as they should. If you spend hundreds of dollars, even thousands, on a lace unit, should they not be worn the way they're supposed to? If you're tired of people looking at your lace and not your eyes, then you need this product. If you're tired of being embarrassed because you're in the salon and you look great, and as soon as you go out in the sunlight, expose then you definitely need this product. Have confidence. Be sure that no one will be able to tell. Only with No Lace Canada. Yes. Make sure you guys check out No Lace Canada. I'll tag them in my description bar down below so you guys can go on there. Is that the Instagram as well? The Instagram as well. No. At No Lace underscore Canada. No lace Canada. We sell on Walmart.ca, Amazon.ca, and of course No Lace Canada.ca. Just recently, we are in the Pickering Town Center in Canada. Can Canada black owned marketplace so you can definitely pick it up there we have curbside in Brampton and don't worry we're always in the Chloray store yes. big up to Chloray and we're always doing pop-ups free installations of course you can catch us all over Toronto and we're coming for you because every woman needs to be flawless period <laughs> right that's all <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness yes I'm gonna try it out and Yes. Uh, you know how I like mm -hmm. it whenever I put um, get a frontal again. Yes. Thank you so much. No problem. Catch me no makeup, everything, but I'm always ready. You look good. <laughs> Skin is flawless and everything. What? Already. Yes. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you. Bye. Now wait. Thank you. I will. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch YouTube. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Again, I'm going to my girl Domsey's daughter Kalani's birthday party. It's Kalani's third birthday party. And yeah, I'm about to pick up Aaliyah and then we're gonna head there. It's like an hour drive because her mom lives like really far. But I couldn't find anything to wear, so you know, when all fails, you just put on a black <laughs> jumpsuit. I'm so tired of doing this. I have so much clothes, it's stressing me out because I can't put outfits together. I don't know. I really gotta go through everything, but I'm wearing a black jumpsuit from Naked Wardrobe, um, Zara jacket, Balenciaga hourglass croc bag, and my, I don't, I forget what these are called, but my, uh, dumb clothes. So, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. May the 
It's gonna be like completely honest with you only, right? Yeah. No, I like yeah. that. Like, I would prefer that rather than you like try to sell me a dream or like lie and say Exactly. Like, yeah. I guess, yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, I rarely see actually what you're actually kind of looking for or, you know, really. I really don't. Um, so yeah. I guess, you know, like you have to kind of think about, hey, do I really need an island? If you don't need an island, right? Possibilities are higher. Uh, honestly speaking with you, um, things would you know a, a two bedroom trip on the island. You know, new con newer condo. I said not brand new, but newer, very limited. Honestly speaking with you, because they all, all the all the all the builders they're trying to save cost, right? right. So, so to put an extra island, right? It's, it should cost them. Like sometimes they would not do it, right? Only only a few may you know, as an incentive, mm -hmm. right? But really. The island thing is actually uh, a challenge, and that's why I was like, okay, you want an island? I'm gonna give you the island, but you know what? That, that you know, it's not gonna be you know everywhere, right? Yeah, that's. Yeah. Ugh, this is so hard. Even with my budget, what if I raised my budget by like? Do you think that would help? Right. So, so it's not about the. It's, well, of course it will help, right? Because I just sent you, you know, two extra listings. You know, um, yeah. where they actually start at twenty six hundred. It's a, it's a good learning curve, you know, to also understand, hey, what I do, what I really need and what I really can be like optional kind of thing like that, right? So, yeah, so if you actually combine it, whatever you are thinking that you just told me, I think it is going to be a very difficult path for you, really, honestly speaking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's understandable. I mean, yep. considering um, the things that I was looking at prior to contacting you and like a few of the units i did find um i don't know like i said i don't i'm not familiar with right. the area that you have been showing me mm -hmm. but like in other areas that i've been looking at mm -hmm. even like oakville um right wow okay yeah like say mm -hmm. topical maybe even you know better and again but you know you know looking for the specific items that you must have in the unit it's gonna it's gonna be also like you know kind of a you know a easter egg, a easter egg hunt kind of thing like that yeah, you know like amazing. yeah mm -hmm. yeah so sometimes i have you know i have to bring back my clients to to come to the, re the reality and say hey uh mr client we have to be realistic now right we have to be really kind of thinking hey is that something that i want is even you know out there in the market kind of thing like that it's important right right yeah uh okay um yeah i know i know it's discouraging okay. <laughs> i know those things are a necessity for me just because of the fact like my lifestyle and like, the fact that i work right. from home it's not just like right i have to kind of really compromise on something now right yeah it makes sense Makes sense, right? Cause, I mean, like it, 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 it's not easy. It's not easy because now I know that you actually want to walk in closet. You want to, you know, a, a, an island. But honest speaking with you, uh, I would say if you really don't need an island, it, your choices are really much. But you have you have much more choices. Honest speaking with you, because really again from my experience you know like i i rarely see condos that you know newer condos of island only a few that i work with has are we looking for like an island with walking closet you know and all that though those will be like much higher than your budget mm -hmm. i was i'll be i'll be honest with you right but you know at least but at least the good thing is you're at, at a good time because winter time you know you slow down a little bit you know the price may drop a little bit right so yeah. you might find something very close to your budget but may not be exactly what your, what your budget is right okay, yeah what have you find that like what have you seen have you seen something that you know close to what you are looking for and 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 and, and, and you send me whatever you've sent you have seen before you know I, maybe i can take a look for you kind of thing like that and and we can go from there yeah um i have a list on my phone and my notes app um of when i was uh 
dealing with someone else, so he booked a couple of viewings for some of them. We went to, I think, Great. maybe seven, six or seven of them. And again, you know, you're bringing up a very good point. If you actually want something, you know, what, what you are, you know, looking for, you may not be looking for the newer ones. You may probably be looking for the older ones, right? Because right? the older ones usually, you know, like, they're the bigger, larger sizes, new condos, right? <laughs> you know, you you know, you you probably would be to some friends, you know, condos, or I don't know, you're living in one a new a newer one right now. Yeah. You know, the size they're not there. The size is not there. No, the size is actually not there. They, they're like a compact, you know, you know, size now, right? Yeah, yeah. they they are. Damn right, we take turns being wrong. I can't really count when I'm alone. I can't really about it all when I'm alone. It's so crazy, I'm seeing you when I get old. Now, Julio made me a fulfill. Now, I might hit your phone up with a ba ba ba. This is my da da da. This is my ah ah ah. All of this love is toxic. All of this love is toxic. All these bitches and hoes and no shit. You with them, girl, you toxic. Okay, layers. <laughs> hey, you guys, I just left from getting my hair done. My girl, my hair was already done, but I just like went to go get some quick layers. When I got my hair done a couple days ago, I didn't get layers, and obviously because my hair is shorter in the front, I prefer a more layered look. I feel like it just blends better and looks more natural, and it frames my face better. But yeah, I'm on my way home. Thank God I showered before I left my house because I worked out earlier. I did like a quick, I had to squeeze it in, you guys. I might be going to Mexico, so I just gotta get snatched, even if it's in just three days. I'm terrible, but um, yeah, I might be going to Mexico. Yes, 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 yes. 
yes, 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 yes. It's giving everything. You are giving you everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. <laughs> Look, the best friends. Yes. Hey. <laughs> Where's Castile? Castile. She's taking TikTok, TikTok. videos. It's TikTok. <laughs> I just arrived at this COVID testing center because I'm going to Mexico tomorrow. Um, you guys saw that I just went out for Castile's birthday and I wasn't going to go to Mexico with her and Clarissa, but um, we actually have like an, an extension period to travel before having to get vaccinated. So I'm just going to go because after November, I have to be vaccinated to travel. Um, so yeah, they actually left today. I wasn't going to go, but I'm like, you know what? I'm going to fucking go. I'm going to go. So I'm getting my test done now. I just booked my flight um, before I left my house. And then I have to go to the mall. Um, I took pictures of like all my outfits on my bed, but I I need some pop of color um, for like shoes and bags. Bags specifically, like shoes. I have like some... I probably have something from like Ego or Zara that I could do, but I definitely need like a bag. I don't have any colorful bags. So, yeah, I'm going to take you guys with me, obviously, for all of that. But I'm about to get my test done, and I'm probably going to have to pay. You guys, this whole COVID thing is a scam. Like, I have to pay, what, $140? Because um, now it's not even a rapid COVID test. You have to get a, a PCR test. So, PCR tests right now are minimum, like, $130, $140. And I might have to get mine ex expedited. So, I might have to pay $230. $230 for a COVID test. Yeah. Just because I'm not trying to take the chance. I have 12 hours to like get my test done. But I'm going to ask inside. If I'm good, if they say I'm good, then I'm going to... I'll pay the 140 But if not, I'm going to do... I'm going to have to do 230 <sighs> This whole COVID thing, you guys. And it's raining. Everything's just a dub right now. But yeah, I'm going to go get my test. And then we're going to go to the mall. Um, I have a nail appointment at 5. So yeah, I'm just trying to get everything done. Because I hate... I already feel anxious. Whenever I'm traveling and I have to run errands, I get anxious because I just... I'm anxious until everything's completed. I don't know if anyone else is like that, but girl. I just want to get everything done. So I'm going to talk to you guys after. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Hi. So are you getting tested for travel? I am. Yep. Okay. And it's the PCR test that you need? Yes. It's for Mexico. Okay. So I know um, they said... Okay, do you have some ID with you? I do. Alright guys, I got my test. Lord, I just love when you meet people that just make your life so much easier. So, um, the reason I came to this exact location, this is actually where Clarissa came to get her test. I paid $150. Every other place that I checked is like, you get your results within 24 hours. This place said 12 to 24, but... On the website, it doesn't even say 24. It just says 12. And obviously, because this is a last-minute thing, my flight is tomorrow at 9 a.m. This is the most reliable place. And the girl was just so nice. She's like, what time's your flight? I told her. 
So she's like, oh, okay, like my my supervisor, I'm gonna I'm gonna step out and just talk to my supervisor in the other room because she is the one that's usually gonna be here at 7 a.m. and my flight's at 9, meaning international check-in two hours before. So she was just like, she's gonna ask and see if I can get my results in time. And she's like, um, good news. Um, she's gonna be coming from well, if you're not from here, you're not gonna know where Barry is, but Barry's pretty far. So she said the supervisor is actually gonna send me my results at like 4 a.m. before she actually gets here, like before she gets into her car or something like that. Hold on. Are you looking for the entrance? No, um, it said to drop off COVID samples. They do it at the side. Oh, there. Oh, I've never. I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I went to the front. But... Okay. I was just, no worries, no worries. Um, but yeah, so her supervisor is going to give me my results at like 4 or 5 a.m. I just need it for like 7, 7.30. So, I'm good. I was telling you guys, my cousin was saying, yo, just pay the 2.30 um, expedited fee to get it in six hours. But I'm going to get it. And then she also gave me an extension and a number to call if just in case it doesn't come in by 4 or 5. Either way. Um, she'll be in the office by 7, so I don't have to pay expedited prices, but I'm still getting my shit expedited. Okay. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Um, I'm gonna go to Yorkdale now. I'm in North York anyways, but I'm like Don Valley Parkway area. I always assumed that North York was like Keel, Shepherd, Yorkdale area, but I'm like... I went on the DVP. Once, honestly, once I see DVP, I just say I'm I'm in Scarborough. I don't know if anybody else is like that. If you're driving in Toronto, but yeah. So I need to figure out. Um, I need a, a straw hat. This is I I hate last minute shit, but I need like a straw hat. I need accessories like a bag, maybe some shoes, and yeah. So I'm gonna save my memory, my battery, and I'll see you guys when I'm at the mall. Okay. Hey you guys, I'm in Bottega. Um, I just came to, I'm trying to put together, like, I didn't try on anything, but I literally took pictures of all my little outfits that I have, <laughs> um, and I was going to do color blocking, because I feel like with this, blue would be a hit, but, um, if you guys don't know, these heels are so popular and they can never have them in stock. And they have one size five. It's my size, so I think I might. How much are the slides? The They're slides, so, like, the I just, yeah. Uh, 15, 20. 15, 20. Yikes. Oh, they're more than the heels. Damn. So I'm added in my gut. These are so pretty. But I think I'm gonna get these because I have a clutch that actually goes with these like, perfectly. And that would actually fix my problems for most of my outfits if I have shoes to match. Even though I did want to do a little color block. But I'm not sure.
you guys. I look crazy because I am exhausted from running around all day. I'm about to drop Chai off at my aunt's. Um, I literally just gave her a bath because she needed one anyways and I didn't get to do it earlier. So, yeah. All nice and clean. So fresh and so clean, clean. Oh my goodness, Chai, relax. You just hear your <laughs> Girl, this dog doesn't even care. This dog is so... Okay. This dog is so crazy, you guys. Come put on your... Um, your relax. Relax. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Sit down. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Sit. Sit. Thank you. Sit. Just crazy. Chai. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm about to drop her off at my aunt's because she's going to watch her for the next couple of days and then I'm going to pick up my dad and then he's going to drop me home and then he's going to take my car. Um, so yeah, I'm so tired. I don't know why I did this to myself. I obviously love a little chaos in my life because <laughs> I should have given myself an, an extra day. Not the next day to fly out, but, you know. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss you. I had to drop off some clothes with my man to my management because some people bought some stuff from Depop. And I have to get those things out. I gotta make sure y'all get your clothes. So, yeah, I got everything out the way. So, it's just dropping off chai and then my dad coming back here. Ugh. But when I come back, you guys, I have to... I figured out all my outfits, but... Why am I sitting on the floor? I don't know. I figured out all my outfits, but now I have to pack. I literally... I don't know why. This is how I feel right now. <laughs> I just want to curl into a ball. Oh my god. I've been trying to export my video for the past two hours, um, but it didn't render properly, so... I basically, um, usually I don't have to render my videos, I just export, but because I guess there was some interruption when I was editing it earlier, it's showing that there's like an error or some something wrong in my file, so now it's rendering and then I have to export it again. So it's just, it's not going up tonight, it's just not happening. I can't believe I'm going to Mexico tomorrow and I'm flying by myself. I'm a little nervous, but my cousin was telling me like it's not that serious because you take a shuttle to the resort. And I'm not going to be the only one on the shuttle or the bus or whatever. I've just never flown to, like, an island or foreign country on my own. I've flown to, like, New York on my own. If it was, like, America or, like, anywhere in Canada, I would be a little bit more, you know. But I think... I know people do solo trips all the time. I'm just, like, it's out of my comfort zone. But obviously, I know once I get there, you know, I'm meeting up with my girls. So, anyways... I'm gonna take this girl to my aunt's. You smell so good. You smell very good. Say bye, guys. <laughs> bye, guys. Hey, guys, it's the next morning. I'm literally about to leave for my trip. Um on my beanie because I didn't really straighten my hair and it's a four hour flight obviously as soon as I get there this is coming off <laughs> called my uber and stuff so we'll be good be good I am so tired Pineapple ginger. I love ginger, but it's also very spicy. So 
I'm waiting for my Uber. I'm about to just go downstairs. Let me see how far my Uber is. I think he's going to be here in like three minutes. I want to let you know that you don't have to go. Don't wonder no more what I think about you. If it's nothing that you want. No, we're not. We're going zip lining. No, we are going. Yeah. We're gonna try. It. But we don't have closed toe shoes. But they said she might. They might let us. They might. They may or may not. Rissa. But yeah. Um, let's hope this is yeah, fun. Yeah, you wanna be a great man. Wedding drive. Business, and I'll make me the happiest person. Um, last night for me was a dub. I went to sleep after dinner. It's a great fucking it's grandma. A Shopify store. And they went out. But I just could not hang. Can do it. That's okay. About to have fun today. I just threw on something that isn't gonna get. Or that I don't care. Did I mess up? I don't like that. Alright, guys, we just went zip lining, but they won't let us bring our phone, like, at all. So I didn't get to get any content. Like, we even tried sneaking it, and they're like, nope. Look at this shit. So. What? It's in my booth. <laughs> yeah, she's hiding hers. For we're going ATVing now, so she's gonna bring her phone. But yeah, girl, I was trying to get some content for you guys, but it's not working. It's, it's not working. <laughs> it's not working. It's okay. Where are you at? Hey, 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 h
Oh, zip yeah, lining, I, I get it, but why not? Yeah, I get the zip lining. The AC meeting, we're driving. Are you crazy? Oh, with the phone? No. Huh? Say. Hi guys, we're in Cancun, Mexico, having a nice break. We don't know his name, it's the guy that yes. And we're having some fun. A lot, guy that fell? a lot of fun. We just uh, finished ATVing, we're about to eat. This is so good, though. We gotta try it, guys. Yes. Say bye. <laughs> yeah, guys, we just finished ATVing, we're gonna eat, and then we're just gonna go. Like, we're tired. The food shit? Did you just say shit? I'm so hungry, I don't even care. Guess what the food chef. You know what I mean? Like fl yeah, 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 yeah. Got some beans, rice, chips, chicken, fajitas, tortillas, hot sauce. You're dangerous. It's that hot? Really? Try it. Let's see what I want, girl. I want to see how hot it is. Isn't it hot? You should drink water right after. It's hot or what? What? Oh, my God. What do you do? What do you do? Like this? Chicken. It's not seasoned or what? Water? 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 Just one nostril? Yeah. It's burning. <clears throat> God, they shit. Okay. I'm about to get ready to go to the pool. You guys, I don't remember. Well, my hair looks crazy right now, but. Um... <laughs> That's the fit. He goes high. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. What? I was crying. How was that? I'm crying? Shit. 
Question. Tell me what you think about me. I buy my own diamonds and I buy my own rings. Only ring your celly when I'm feeling lonely. When it's all over, please get up and leave. Question. Tell me how you feel about this. Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed. Pay my own car note and I pay my own bills. Always 50-50 in relationships. The shoes on my feet, I got the clothes I'm wearing. Yeah, I'm ready to play it. I'm ready to play it. Hey, hey, you gotta remember you ain't can't cool. vlogging has been so shitty um we're about to go eat i just did like concealer and shit i'm starving it's been raining every day i don't know if i said that but um yeah it's not that bad like right now it's fine but then it rains like in the evening so yeah hopefully i can get some pics today and i'm just done straightening my hair like i still straighten it but there's really no point there's no point. That was the best. What is that? Thank you. Double shot? That looks good, babe. Mm -hmm. Double shot. Um, margarita. Double shot. Margarita. I said double shot for you, too. <laughs> Thank you. 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 This is a good stand. I love it. It's sturdy. I love it. Do we have a good one? No, that's fine. Ladies, Terminal 3, your entrance is going to be from this door to the next one. Okay, you guys, I'm at the airport and the girl that's doing my COVID test said her sister is one of my biggest fans. <laughs> guys, she watches all her videos. <laughs> She's actually your number one fan. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. She's so cute. They cannot oh, make just... videos and video call over here. <laughs> okay, bye. Getting all of your essential um, needs, such as groceries, medical, anything essential. Um, I've either had it ordered and brought up to my door or... Okay. Sounds like you, you did say that your family members are helping you to, um, to uh, get any essentials that you need. Now, how are you getting some fresh air? Um, I have a balcony on my in my unit, but I haven't really even gone out there. I've been okay with um, not getting any fresh air. But if I do need to, um, I can go on my balcony. That's perfect. That, well, that, that's what the option is. It's there if you need it, yeah. which is great. Now, remember that you may not leave your place of quarantine unless it's either for an emergency uh, medical service. Mm -hmm. An essential medical service or treatment um, <clears throat> to get a COVID uh, test, or if it was something that was pre authorized by the Public Health Agency of Canada. Okay? Okay. Have you had any visitors to the house? I have not. All right. Thank you for that. Uh, just remember again that no visitors are allowed, even if you can't stay two meters apart. All right? So, no visitors to the premises. 
Okay. Now, I do recommend that you continue, uh, complete the day eight test as soon as you can uh, get that package out to you. Mm -hmm. Now, this second test is very important as we have seen that it can take up to 14 days for COVID to be detected. So this is why we require the two tests on need you to remain in quarantine for at least 14 days, even if your day eight test result is negative. If you do not do the test, you may be transferred to a designated quarantine facility or even uh, receive a fine of up to $5,000 for every day that an offense is committed. And you will have to continue to report your symptoms every day until this quarantine ends. Okay? Okay. Now, just um, a reminder as well that the Federal Quarantine Act is being enforced in Canada. Maintaining quarantine is crucial, especially now with the surge in new COVID variants that that's spread already from person to person. You must also report your symptoms every day until your quarantine ends. Through the Arrive Can app online or by calling the toll-free number. Now, if any symptoms develop, isolate yourself from other members of your household. Start a new 10-day isolation period and contact your local public health authority. A designated screening officer may visit your place of quarantine or phone you again to verify compliance with the order. Now, we do want to thank you for your support and your cooperation as we work together to reduce the spread of COVID-19 in Canada. So stay safe and do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. You too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. I have a crust. <laughs> in my mouth, but um, obviously you guys could tell. Well, first of all, I'm home. Good morning. I look like trash. I don't look like trash, but I look crazy because I just woke up. Um, as you guys could tell from that phone call, that was the government of Canada calling to make sure that my ass is quarantined and everything like that. Um, yeah, I had to answer the phone because what happens is if you don't answer the phone, it comes off as suspicious and they will show up at your house. And other things. Um, they called me like three times. I was sleeping, so. Um, yeah. I'm going to end this vlog today. I do kind of just want to like explain the trip. Because I feel like my vlogging... The trip didn't turn out to be how exactly how I want it. The trip didn't go exactly how I wanted it to go. And how I envisioned it. And how I wanted my vlog to be. So I feel like I owe you guys an explanation because I also feel like any moment I was able to vlog, I just picked up the camera. I wasn't really communicating with you guys and it was driving me crazy. But I still, you know, wanted to, I still tried to, I still had a good time. I just still wanted to enjoy my trip and stuff. So I'm going to like freshen up, brush my teeth and stuff and then. I will um, talk to you guys before we end this vlog. It's really my dad for me. It's really my dad for me. I'm on quarantine right now, obviously, because, you know, I traveled and I'm not vaccinated yet. So I got a quarantine for 14 days and my dad didn't want me spending any more money on ordering Uber Eats. I've been ordering a lot of food, obviously, because all my food went bad. So he got groceries for me, told me to give him a list, and he just asked me what, where do I shop. I told him Metro's or Loblaws, and he went to Metro. He actually got me more than what I asked for. He's like, oh, you don't eat enough fruit, so I'm gonna get you some apples and pineapples, because I only got like strawberries and blueberries. And I, yeah, he got me, I'm good. <laughs> oh my God, I love my dad. This is why I could never settle. I blame my father. These niggas could never. I'm joking, but. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about this trip, girl. I still had a really good time. It was way, or not, it was way. The vibe of this trip was way different than I was expecting, that I had planned for. from I hate, let's try, you guys. She does this little snort thing. The vet said it's normal, so that's just what I tell everybody that says what the fuck is that so the vibe of the trip was way different than i anticipated that i had planned for if you guys first of all <laughs> i mean i'm not the best at doing my hair but y'all know like my hair usually looks a little better than what i did on the trip 
not a little a lot better you guys it rained every single day so the first night when i got oh my god this is what really killed my mood um but obviously i got over it. it's rain but so like even the first day i got there because it rained literally every day as the days went on i was only there for like four five days we extended our stay on the last night and i didn't even get content so my whole hair just got I'll have a video. I posted it on my Instagram and you guys are dying. Natural hair struggles. But um, yeah, my whole leave out turned to Jerry Curls. <laughs> on top of Brazilian hair, okay? So it was just like, okay. The resort that we ended up staying at wasn't the original resort that we had booked for. Um, I told you guys, I went there two days after... Uh, they they got there I, ch I changed my mind last minute i told you guys this in the, earlier in the vlog um and the place that they had booked to stay at was beautiful 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 five-star resort bougie luxurious glad i didn't even get to see it so basically what had happened was the day before i came my girls facetimed me and said yeah so this resort that we're staying at is gorgeous but it's so boring there's nothing to do we're saying in terms of I mean, you go somewhere for your birthday and you want to turn up, that's definitely not the place to go. The resort's called Secrets Something in Cancun, and, you know, they were there for, like, the two days. They met people, and everybody that they met said, yeah, like, this place is so boring. We've been here for two weeks, or we've been here for a week, and there's nothing to do. Um, they are like, yeah, like, I recommend you leaving, blah, blah, blah. They said that there were people just, like, it was so quiet. They said there was no music like nothing, no music, no vibes, no entertainment, nothing. Um, people were playing chess in the lobby. And also that um, when my girls put on their swimsuits, like women that were in like with, with their husbands or boyfriends were looking at my girls like, literally like they said a, lit a woman came up to them and said, that's too much. Like your bathing suit is too much. So, I mean, when they said that to me, I'm like, what? Um, so, you know, I'm just like, okay, whatever. They're like, yeah, we found this other resort called Temptations. Bitch, I should have known from the name. <laughs> I had a very, very good time, but that resort is definitely, like, I'm not even, the reason I got no footage, you guys, is because you're not allowed to record. Like, people are walking around topless. It's lit as fuck if you're looking for somewhere to turn up, to party every day. I wasn't trying to party every day, but I ended up partying every day. I partied hard. I'm tired. All my outfits that I, ha that I had planned did not get worn. Maybe three of them, and it's because we went out to dinner. But um, all the daytime outfits, there's no point because everybody there, nobody's wearing clothes. So they look at me in my extra ass outfits. Everyone's going to be looking at me like, where are you going? <laughs> so I didn't get to wear any of like... I got no pictures. I got one picture. Actually, I got two. One of them, is, it, it's, it's not really a good picture. Like, I don't know if I'm going to post it. It's not my vibe. Um, the other picture I got, I actually got one. I don't know how we got this. My girl booked um, reservations at that Rosa Negra restaurant, which was gorgeous. Loved it. And she literally took three photos of me. And I don't know how. By the grace of God, on the, the second photo is actually fire. Like, that's how you know. I was like, I didn't get no pics. Bitch, you better, you better pose. And I somehow got a good pic. But there's literally a man in the back of the photo wearing a reflective shirt. And it messed up, it messed up my whole thing. So I've literally been asking, like, everyone I know that knows how to use Photoshop to fix it. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyways. You guys may or may not see that photo. I didn't get to see the beautiful resort, um, which I was pretty annoyed about only because, like, you know, they were talking about it. It was so nice. And I saw penises. And I, it's a very, like, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't, I've never been to a resort like this. So I didn't know that there was stuff like this. You guys, this is like a swingers resort. If that's your vibe, definitely check it out. You will definitely enjoy it. I don't. I don't care. Like it was, it was entertaining to see certain things, but um, I would probably never go to a place like that again, just because I don't, I don't care for that. Um, we literally had no idea it was that raunchy. Yeah, that's the word, y'all. The place was, it was raunchy. 
but it was entertaining as fuck. And anytime I wanted to record, I couldn't record because if they even see you take out a camera or a phone when you're recording, they're like, no videos, no pictures. And they even have like employees that work at the resort come, they have like a mic and everything and we're playing games, like everybody's playing games. Uh, some raunchy games we didn't play we just obviously watched but it was like pants came off girl i don't even know how to describe this y'all this place was just raunchy but funny but it's raunchy if you're looking for somewhere that's like that then i highly recommend if not don't you're not you're not going to um like it um people went on stage took off pants they had contests and stuff like that. Um, yeah, we met um, like these two black girls and these three black guys and so we all just literally ended up just kicking it together for the remainder of the trip um, at the resort and we went out to eat, we went to the club and I still had a good time, um, but this just means that I have to book another vacation. COVID is, this whole COVID thing is not really helping because you know, I would have just, been out by like next week or so, so I'm, I'm gonna make this decision with within the next week or so i'm still on quarantine as you guys know they're dragging it through the mud girl they are dragging it so yeah um i'm gonna finish editing this vlog